Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not, and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved. It's been, like, what, like almost a few months now since I last even touched this game, and a lot of stuff has happened since I've last done it. Apparently there's giant beavers, giant stuff, and all that, but, yeah, basically a whole bunch of awesome new stuff that's been added, and what we're going to be checking out is basically the thing that happened, I think, like a few hours ago or something like that. Basically, they added three new creatures, and I think they only added creatures, and no, like, new weapons or anything like that, so... Yeah, one of them uh, is actually in the winter biome, and he's also right next to me, so, you know, that's cool. Basically, this is the woolly rhino, uh, an awesome little furry guy who just looks awesome. I love the model. It looks amazing, and I do not want to be on the receiving end of that horn. Jeez. But, well, basically, we're going to end up doing that because, yeah, we're going to check out taming this bad boy. Let's just load that gun up with a trank dart. Good to go. And let's set this guy here to passive because I do not want something bad happening to my little uh, bird thing there that is only speed and no health or anything like that. He can probably get one shot by anything. But yeah, so they added the woolly mammoth, mm -hmm. what, not woolly mammoth, woolly, <laughs> woolly rhino, um, the, what's it called? Wait, what's that thing called? It, it's like a, it's really hard to pronounce. It's like a Europeted or something. It's like a giant scorpion that's underwater. And it's like on the ocean floor, which is pretty cool that there's actually some ocean floor kind of stuff. And it apparently drops like black pearls that yeah. I'm guessing they're going to end up using that for like the next kind of like tech tier that's going to be coming out. I think it's like the T-E-K tier or something like that. The tech or however you pronounce it, which that's going to be pretty cool. It's like the next one after metal, which is, yeah, that's going to be pretty damn awesome. They also added the Dunkelosteus, which is basically this giant shark kind of thing that... It basically has, its entire face is just a bony plate kind of thing, and it doesn't have teeth, it just has these giant jagged shards of bone that, it looks awesome, we're going to try and tame one. So, yeah, without further ado, before we actually attack this guy, because I'm going to use this as a shield, because, yeah, I don't, I, I didn't plan this out well, I mean, for God's sake, I'm wearing partial riot armor, like, everything's, like, broken, I, I don't even have boots on, I'm in, in the middle of the winter by him and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go over the, uh, what's called the saddles that they got, which I totally didn't plan in advance for or anything. So yeah, we got the Wooly Rhino one, which is going to run you about 250 hide, 130 fiber, 100 cementing paste, and 60 metal ingots. Pretty cool. Let's craft that, and then while we go, oh, while that one's crafting, we'll do this one. 300 hide, 180 fiber, 120 cementing paste, and 80 metal ingots will give you the Dunkelosia saddle, which is pretty cool. That's going to be made. We'll leave these in here. We got the medjo berries for the whole taming process and all that fun stuff. So I guess without further ado, wait, am I dying of something? Yeah, probably. All right, so stand on top of here and aim straight for the eyeball. Yeah. All right. This thing does not look happy is all I can say. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep this thing between me and it. Okay, you stay there and... Oh, wow, he's actually on top of it. Perfect. All right, so if you ever want to try and tame this guy, don't really run or anything like that. Just build a little thing with a smithy, and you'll be pretty good to go. All right, awesome. All right, what's this guy's unconscious level? All right, so he's pretty normal. Like, he doesn't, like, skyrocket down or anything like that, which is pretty damn cool. Let's go jump on... Eh, there we go. Grab some of these medjo berries out. Eh. I'm actually, I think I'm actually dying of frostbite or something. That, that's probably what's going on. All right, let's dump those on there. Good to go. He's taming. All right, good. I think he doesn't need some sort of like fancy thing like a mushroom or something like that. All right, and in here we have some narcotics. Good to go. Let's just dump these in here. Eh. And put these in there. It's been so long since I've ever even like actually knocked something unconscious over here and all that stuff. Awesome. Oh, he has these evil looking feet. They have like, they have little butts on the back of them. Awesome. All right, anywho. Jeez, that guy just looks awesome. Without a torch and take a nice look at, he is big. Wait, what button was it to, oh, it's scroll wheel. That's how you, it's been so long. That's how you actually go into third person. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. Oh, you can't really see him with all the, wait, I think I know the problem. We got this damn tree in the way. All right, you know what? Here's what we're going to go do. We're gonna chop this tree down with an axe. Or, I mean, yeah. You know what? Let's just call it an axe. There we go. Get out of here, you tree. All right, we can almost see it. All right. You're the last tree that we need to get rid of. Okay, there we go. 
Now we can see this guy nice and pretty like and all that. Alright. Oh, great. He's causing his own shadow? Alright, I think we might need to kill him so we can see him better. Alright, well, anywho. Damn, I, I love the face on him. He looks awesome. Alright, well, anywho, I think I'm gonna go and get this guy all nice and ready. And we'll slap a saddle on him and then we'll go and uh, charge him around and yeah, see what he has to offer and all that fun stuff. Okay, so there we go. We got him all nice and tamed, and this is quite the impressive dose here. I think we actually got what we paid for. Look, he's the same skin as what we actually have. Alright, cool. And there he is, actually taking on a, a trike. Wow. Alright, so apparently he has taming. He can actually carry a bit of weight, so I'm guessing he's going to be like kind of the uh, transporting thing of the like winter biome and all that. We got a lot of speed, apparently. And despite how peaceful, yada yada, hunt them to their valuable resource... Uh, yeah, we, we gotta see about trying to kill one of these bad boys and see exactly how much stuff they got, I mean. Yeah, thick first, insulating. I'm guessing they give you a lot of hide. Alright, let's give this guy a name. Uh, hmm. What should we name him? You know what? I got it. Perfect, Longhorn. I mean, you know what? I'd say the name fits him. Alright, so what we're gonna do with a Longhorn here is... Eh. Get up here, even though I was already up there, didn't even need to jump. Get the woolly rhino saddle. Slap that on him. There we go. Alright, we can leave the rest of the narcotic things in there. Doesn't really matter. And let's just check this. He's on attack and target. Let's set him to neutral and disable that. Alright. Oh, wow. He's a big fellow. Jeez. Look at this guy. He looks awesome. Ooh, that just looks powerful. My god. Does he have any, like, secondary attacks? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, his turning is... Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I'm thinking of other games. The whole turning stuff. Yeah, pay no mind to this guy right here. He was, uh... He was being naughty, so I had to trank him. So, we'll just see how much damage he does. Actually, wait, we can actually check exactly how much damage he does. Alright, never mind. You know what? We, we butchered this. He... he He's as good as dead now. Let's just crush him. Alright, there we go. Alright, so, apparently he has a lot of speed. Does he build up speed? I- Oh, he does! Alright, so, look, this is, like, running for a second or two. And then... You- Actually, or you can run out of stamina. That, that's fine, too. Alright, so you just rest there for a second, buddy, and- Wait, he has that thing next to his, uh... His- What's it called? His health bar. Just like, I think the Giga does. I think he actually does get angry. Interesting. Alright, well, we have a nice flat-ish stretch of land here, so we can check out his, uh, charging, apparently. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, let's see. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, he just took down- he, he takes down trees when he runs. And he just builds up speed. Yeah, wow. That's awesome. Can he actually harvest them? Oh my god. This guy's awesome. Alright, I'm actually starting to- freeze to death. Let's drink some more of my magic anti-freeze juice. Alright, cool. Wow. Alright, right, new thing I want to test on that stuck mammoth there. Let's see how much damage he does to other creatures. Oh, well, his anger thing is actually going pretty high. So I'm guessing he, like this guy, because he's like such a low level, he actually, uh, wait, he or she? I've been, what, what even are you? Let me check. You are, where do I check? I don't even know. Alright, let's see. Female. Yeah, okay, she. Yeah, so apparently she just doesn't have enough stamina to get full-blown angry. So, I don't think I need to worry about the whole rage factor. So, what we're gonna go do, is we're gonna turn around. And we're gonna just charge, actually full-on charge, not just like, oh yeah, we'll charge. Alright, right here seems about good. I don't want to get too far away where we just run out of stamina right there. And here we are, I think actually back where we started. Alright, whatever, screw it. Just gonna charge. Full blown. Here we go. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so charging directly at something, it actually doesn't do damage. But you can actually attack when you're charging, which is cool. So only so charging apparently only takes down trees and doesn't like actually harvest anything, so you don't need to worry about like you charging through a forest on like someone who has like god tier amount of stamina and then you stop because you're over encumbered because you harvested the whole forest. So let's try actually doing like a drive-by on this guy. Ooh, that did not seem pretty. Alright, I think we almost just freed him or something. 
Yeah. Die. Yeah. Mammoth V. Wooly Mammoth. Well, actually, no. Wooly Rhino V Mammoth. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Slap him on the butt. Yes. Yeah. 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 One more should get him. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and down they go. Alright, nice. Let's actually level up this stamina if we can. And see if we can maybe push them over the edge to see if we can get uh, angry mode. See what that's all about. Alright, there we go. Just run around a circle for a second. Oh dang, we just we just messed it up. Yeah. Dang crystal thing, I blame you. Alright. Now stop moving and Alright, we're good. Alright, we're gonna charge straight up this mountain thing here, and we'll hopefully get him into maybe rage mode or something. No, it's in full-blown rage mode, but... Or maybe it does more damage when it does that. Or maybe it's... No, yeah. I think it actually might do that. It might do more damage when it's in a full-blown angry mode. Oh, this this thing's an awesome little tank. Alright, cool. Well, I think right here is the part where I jump to the uh, ocean, because that's where the... Uh, that's really where the rest of the stuff is. We have the Dunkelosius, or however you want to pronounce it. And then we got the little uh, crab things uh, all the way at the bottom, so... I'll see you guys in a few seconds when I, you know, jump into the icy depths or wherever the heck they live and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. We actually found one of them, and we gotta go quickly, because... Oh, God. Oh, he... He's a big boy. And I also think I angered him a little bit. And everything in the general area as well or something. Get out of here, whatever you are. Oh, God. Oh, you're one ugly thing, aren't you? Yeah. Not even going for you. Get out of here. All right, so I set this guy here to passive because I do not want this thing, uh, you know, getting murdered. Or actually, maybe even killing the thing. All right, here it is. Yeah. Oh, my God, this thing looks menacing. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. You, I'm not even trying to fight. Get out of here. Oh, God. Yeah. I swear the crossbow has like a new sound effect since the last time I played too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh god, I do not want to mess with this thing in open water. Solo, that is. Technically, we're almost doing just that, but... Luckily, if I can get down, since it's holding me up... Yeah. Gotta get to my shark! Yeah. Go down, it's level one! Jesus! Yeah taken 20 darts, I believe, at this point. Alright, if it wasn't for this metal armor, I think I'd be surely dead. Oh my god. Level 1. Oh my... A level 120 or something like that? I don't want to imagine. I do not want to imagine. Alright, where are you going? Jeez, he's just a blur. Alright. Oh, I think he's turning around. Coming back. Alright, he's actually really fading from sight. I don't want him, like, to despawn or anything like that. So, come on, we gotta get on tank here and... Eh. There we go. Oh, no. Is... Are you kidding me? That's another one? Oh, that's just not fair. Oh, yeah. Attack the shark. He has, like, loads of health. Alright. Yeah. Alright. I swear this thing's, like, almost dying at this point with how much... Whatever it is, we're just shooting at him. Oh my god. Oh my... I don't think my shark's gonna live through this. Because this guy won't go down. Alright, you know, we gotta kill the second one. We gotta kill the second one. Or at least get the shark out of here. Here, take the dead plesiosaur that I found. Just don't kill the shark. Alright, maybe we can get some more shots in one of them. Oh, we got him! Alright, we got him. Perfect. Alright, now me and you, buddy. Oh, of course it's mate boosted. Get out of here. Oh, I thought there was another one coming. Yeah. Alright, you're looking a little bloody. Alright. Yeah. Die. Alright, don't you run from me. You can't escape this. Yeah. Jeez, he's taking so much damage. I don't even want to know how much health they have and all that. Alright. Come on. Just go down. Okay. He's dead.
Okay, he's dead. It's over. It's all over. Alright, but we can't go and work on our oxygen situation because we need to quickly actually go and grab some of this before we do anything. Just in case, because I'm actually afraid of his waking up. Alright, there we go. Level 1. Let's check their stats. Okay, 700 health at level 1. My god, I mean, I think the fact that we got a level 1 is perfect because you can really see the how powerful these damn things are. Torpor? A lot, is all I can say. Damage? Uh, yeah. I mean, let's check my metal armor. Pretty, pretty beat up. I mean, these guys were low levels, but, oh god. Alright, so, we need to quickly actually get to the surface. Alright, straight up, I believe. Alright, there we go. Alright, come on. I got this chowder thing, but that only prevents me from drowning faster. Doesn't really make me immortal, though. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, no, that's my shark able to breathe. Alright, there we go. Now my head's above water, and we should be good to go. And start swimming down. Alright, jeez, this, this shark is a trooper. It's being torn apart by those jaws. My god. Alright, let's actually... How much meat do you get from these? Oh, you get prime! And chitin! Alright, cool! Alright, so you don't get hide or anything like that. Alright, that's awesome. That's, uh, good to know. Alright, let's stop right here. I believe we have a whole bunch of meat here, right? Well, we have some prime from the other one. Perfect. Alright, let's just dump all this stuff in here. There we go. Alright, wow. This thing is taming real nicely, but we can actually get a nice good look at this fella right here. Jeez, those, those teeth. My god. I don't even, hopefully this thing's full-blown unconscious, like, he looks like he's just like, I'm tired for a minute. Give, give me a moment, I'll kill you in a second. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. Alright, so, I'm gonna basically get to the part where we can ride this thing around and see how, uh, how deadly this thing is. And maybe we can actually find one of those crab things, which I have not seen any. So, see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so, here we go. We got the Dunkelosteus and all that fun stuff. Alright, this guy looks awesome. Got, uh, oh, he, he, yeah, he drops Chitin, and apparently he can actually, uh, apparently he's a miner or something? That's pretty cool. All right, awesome. All right, so we got him, and what should we name, let's name him, uh, hmm, Hardhead, because I can't think of anything else. All right, there we go. How I'm whistling underwater is beyond me, but let's grab some saddle, and let's slap that on this guy right here. Then, we should be pretty good to go. Okay, there we go. Wow, this guy looks badass. He's he's slow, but he doesn't need to be fast. I'm guessing that's his whole thing. Oh my god, this guy's awesome. Actually, I think I need to be, I need to use more chowder. Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll go and uh, check out what this guy looks like above the water in a second, but look at this guy. He has this awesome long body. Oh, he's kind of slow for the bite, but he's like, eh, I got, I do a lot of damage, I don't really care. So yeah, this guy is really slow, but I'm guessing, yeah, his intimidation factor and his just overall damage really makes up for it. I mean, he also has, like, virtually no stamina, it, like, goes down in a second. This guy might be either, like, the big damage dealer, because, I mean, in the little trailer thing, it was showing, like, him just destroying a wall underwater, so... This guy might just be like more of a construction kind of a creature. So once we go up to the surface here, we can actually maybe stand on his uh, nose or something like that and be able to get some more sweet, sweet chowder. Okay, there we go. And, oh, apparently we can't use it until it's done. All right, well, that'll just take 20 seconds, but oh, this guy's a nice shine to his face. And oh, look, he looks so happy. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. All right, yeah, but this guy looks awesome. Honestly, I thought the I thought the eye was gonna be back there, but apparently no. It's gonna be right up in the front, right near the nose. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna hop back on him, and I believe we can now use it here. There we go. Delicious chowder, standing on a Dunkelosteus in the middle of nowhere. All right, awesome. So, what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go find one of the uh, what's it called scorpion things because all I know is they're probably gonna be really far away, and you know there's probably not many of them or. Something like that. And also with this guy's speed, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So, I'll see you guys in a, again, another few seconds and all that. Okay, so, that's pretty convenient. If you can uh, see those little things moving, that's actually the little scorpion things, which 
I'm actually right next to the shark. I I went down just eh, let's just give it a nice checkaroonie just see if there's uh, maybe a few of them. There they are. But first, I want to check out this. Can he mine? Ooh, he can. And he's pretty efficient at it too. Awesome. Took up the entire thing. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go take a look at them, all nice up and close and passive. All right. All right, so apparently these things, they can only stay to the ocean floor. They poison you. Oh, no, they don't poison you. They, they trank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we might be dead here. Oh, God. Okay. All right, we're going to play the game of hope we wake up before something even bad, even worse happens. I think we're actually, like... Floating just above their reach. Oh god. Oh god, it's even lagging a bit. Oh, they're coming back in. Oh, no, they're hitting me. Alright, you know what? I think we're about we're about dead here at this point. As they they kill my newfound Dunkelosteus. These things are deadly. Oh my god. Alright, so these are things that need to be basically you sit above them and then either stab or shoot them or something like that. Oh my god. I physically can't do anything because I'm full blown unconscious, just you know, snoozing like 500 fathoms but not below the water or whatever. Oh my god. Okay. So I guess now is the part where we almost die. Come on, just just end it. All right. So apparently, when now you're at full stamina. No, not full stamina, full on uh, torpor. They actually stop uh, stinging you, and then they just start, you know, cutting you up. I'm at like one health right now. Just take the shot, end it, end it all. Oh my. Oh. Oh, wait, I think that one's coming back. Oh god, no. Oh, he's, he's back, no. Oh god. Oh, and. Dead. Level three. Oh god. Oh, and harvested. Oh god. Well, that was uh, fun, I guess. I guess the only thing we could do now is maybe just try and spawn somewhere nearby or something, I guess. Sleeping bag. I, I don't even remember anything here. So I think what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go and get back there. And we're going we're gonna to kill one of those things. I want to show off those awesome uh, new pearls or whatever that they have. So all right, I'll see you guys in yet again. Another second or something like that. Okay, so here we are back again and... Okay, yeah, this guy is actually uh, alive and all that stuff. Turns out they actually just... Un oh god, lag! Oh right, yeah, so it turns out they actually just, uh... What's it called? Left him unconscious and, uh, kind of, you know... They didn't go to try to kill him or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. So, we didn't lose our newfound Dunkelosteus, which is awesome. So, yeah, these guys apparently... I, I think they just want to, like, you know, make you unconscious and... That's pretty much it. So, yeah, I mean, these guys... Let's hope we, uh, we get the pearl or something on the first try, because I'm assuming that they're going to make these pearls or whatever they are as hard as it is, like, as, as humanly possible to, you know, actually get, because, I mean, they get you access to the tier after metal, for crying out loud. I mean, they're already at the bottom of the ocean, surrounded by, like, deadly creatures, and now the Dunkelosteus that'll try and kill you. So, yeah. And also the fact that they have their own deadly venom, they also are immediately aggro on you. Like, these pearls are just... My god, they're gonna be hard to get. Alright, so. Let's see if we can actually kill one. Eh. Oh, there we go, and. Eh. Yeah, so these guys, the fact that they actually don't even, uh. Eh. There we go. They don't even come off the, uh, ocean floor. That's actually really awesome. So, I guess you could say that's the easy way to get them, but. Then again. Eh. Oh, we didn't get it. Alright, so apparently, yeah, they are, like. I'm guessing a rare spawn, so you got all that to contend with. Eh. Eh, yeah. Eh. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Right, I'm guessing they're a really rare spawn. I'm not really seeing any more around here, but... Yeah, or maybe they just didn't add them yet, so... That when they actually do end up adding the next tier, whatever the heck these uh, pearl things are going to be used for, nobody has like stockpiles of like a thousand of them, and it's like, oh well, new thing. Let me just dive right into that because I'm guessing they might want to end up having it where it's like there's more deadly creatures that basically makes the pearls even harder to get or something like that. I don't know what they're going to end up doing. So 
Yeah, anyway, I think right is a good spot to end it for now. Next time, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and uh, maybe check out those giant beavers that I end up missing that whole thing and all that stuff. And yeah, basically just do a little bit more arc related stuff to an extent because I've not done this game in so long and it's a pretty cool game. It, it deserves a little love. So yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.